Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today we're going to learn how to display your integer variables or your floats or even constants using Cout. Now this is going to be displaying the value of those variables itself. So let's say we have got an integer over here. I'm going to declare inside the main a simple integer i. Okay, to which I'm going to assign the value 50. I'm going to put the semicolon. Okay. So now the i is a variable whose data type is integer, whose value is 50, initial value is 50. So let's say I want to print the value. I want to print the value of i. So what I do is type in c out, extraction operator, and just the name of the variable, okay, which is i, followed with a semicolon. Now normally what you would do is type in it, it in the single quotes, right? Type in the single quotes and the name of the variable but that would be for displaying the message you will understand right it right now let's have to print the value I just type in I okay I run it it would print 50 it doesn't print I it prints 50 if I type in the inside the quotation marks I it would print I as you, as you can plainly see it prints I it doesn't print the value of I it prints directly I that's because in compiler if you put anything inside these quotation marks it would be displayed as a message it wouldn't be displayed as a variable or anything it would be directly displayed as a message so if I type in an i again it would just print the value of the variable not the vari vari variable itself just the value of it so now I, we know how to print an integer now what if I want to print the value of a float let's say I put a float called as pi whose value is 3.14 okay so using this C out okay, I'm just gonna copy this and I'll print it below okay and let's have a print the value of this float whose name is pi how do I do that so basically where I've written I I change this to pi which is pi run the program and would we'll print 53.15 now let's say we want to use the end l operator which is used to change line again you can use this or you can use the slash n so if I run it right here it would display it on the next line so I can understand better so I have displayed the value of pi and i both using just c out and well to be honest both of these are different this is a float and this is an integer but the process of displaying these variables are exactly the same in C++. So let's say I've got these two, right? But what if I want to display these, okay, in a single C out? I've used one C out over here, one C out over here. Now this is a really small program, right? But what if your program is of a thousand lines? You want to make the program as easy and efficient to read as possible. So we can reduce this, okay, we can remove this and use just one C out to display two values. So you can plainly see over here I printed the value of I used another less than sign two times and typed in endl. But let's say I want to print the value of pi directly okay and put the semicolon over here. So you can plainly see value of i then it will print the value of pi and if I run it it will print 53.14 both together because there's no change of line but if I want to change of line I and add another less than sign okay and type in endl or I can also do is the slash n which I taught you in the previous tutorial which would work just the same okay so if I run this it will print 30 and 3.14 like that right in a single C out so that's how you do it with a single C out you can print as many variables as you want or m as many messages as you want okay so rather than this let's say I want to type in the value of i is okay so it's gonna print the value of i is then the value of i which is 50 and then it would change the line because it reaches over here it says the, to the compiler change the line and then print the value of pi exactly what it happened over here okay so this is how you print a variable now what if I want to print a constant let's say I want to print a constant const 
uh, j is equal to 69 in the semicolon. It's exactly the same. Okay, you just have in j and follow with the semicolon and run it. Now, obviously, you need to specify the data type, int or float or something. I sorry, I forgot about that. And if I run it, it will print 69 right there. So it's really that simple. It's the same process for printing a variable and a constant, they're no different and it doesn't matter if the variable is an integer, it's a float or it's a double or whatever it doesn't matter, so it's the same process for displaying all of these in other programming languages this is really complicated for example in C you need to type in a printf function to which you have to pass the message with a percent %i or percent %f whatever and print the value to it by passing the variable to it and it's really complex as compared to this this is a really simple thing. This is the most simplest way to print a variable, I believe, in all in any programming language. So anyway, this has been Charity Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.